Hallo Alex, uh, how are you? Nice to have you back on my show again. Or yeah, it's it's our show because you're gonna do it as well, right? So we both showing this <laughs> to the world. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, my congratulations. Congratulations, sorry. Uh, I see uh, your shows and uh, it seems like uh, people really interesting in listening to this. So. Congratulations on this! I uh, f thank you, thank you very much. I don't, I don't think it's it's uh, <laughs> it's so much my doing. It's more the the people I interview. <laughs> They're not interested in me, but this is uh, you know what I'm what I'm going for to have nice, interesting people on the show. So and you're <laughs> one of this as well. Um, but you are now a regular. Um, so, and that's why people already know that we always talk about something more in depth. Um, so, yeah, what do we want to talk about today? Um, today, I would like to hear, hear and maybe say something about uh, distribution stuff. Um, it's it's been a while since I uh, asked it myself. What do you? Exactly? What do you use mm -hmm. uh, services? Because I know that you change some of them, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it would be interesting to know why did you change? Uh, was your happy about it and uh, stuff like that? Maybe mm -hmm. uh, later I, I could say something about my distribution uh, experience. And, uh, Basically, yeah, it's a conversation about distribution, music distribution, maybe mm -hmm. podcast distribution. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I asked uh, Alex about this, but of course, for the listeners out there, I was a little bit prepared. <laughs> so, I, I, it was not a complete, um, oh, wow, we are talking about this today. And in preparation, I, I looked around what kind of uh distrib i mean we're talking about digital distribution you know to go on to um you know these big platforms like uh um spotify itunes and and all the the big players basically and i you know looked around a little bit and found a lot so there's a lot of um different ones out there and i guess we're not gonna really rate them or, or judge them I judge them, yes, uh, but rating is a little bit tougher because you need to go into real details. Uh, I, I opened a few tabs on the site so that I can go through the pricing and stuff. But maybe um, to to tell my story, I I have used four different distribution systems so far, uh, providers so far. Um, I used uh, DistroKit. I used CD Baby. I use uh, a lander and I use a uh, root node. What? You continue using. Yes, with these lander. two root node and app uh, and lander, I still use and I can get. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we are talking about this. So, why, um, why I use two different distribution systems is actually quite easy um, because uh, I. Um, okay, the good thing on RootNode is it's a complete free distribution system. That's the only one I uh, no, yeah RootNode. Uh, the, that's the only one I really know where they don't charge any money. I think there is uh, one other one, uh, A Wall, but they kind of choose uh, the people we uh, want to work with, so you have to apply there. I'm not completely sure. I, you know, maybe uh, doing the um, the session during the episode we get we get into this um anyway the the deal with root node is um you can use it for uh, uh, completely free and then they have uh, quite a far reach um but they keep uh 15 percent i think from uh from your income and if you are a small player you know like i guess most of us are um this is nothing <laughs> um, 
and, and, and it's worth it, you know. Like uh, the other one I used before was DistroKit, and I really like DistroKit. A uh, great service, you know. I have nothing against DistroKit, but DistroKit costs um, twenty dollars per year, um, you know, as a flat fee, and then you can upload as much as you want, and you can, you know, uh, um, you can uh, increase your uh, things with. Um, a label system, you know, where you can upload more than one artist because um, with the cheapest one, you can only upload it's one artist. Um, it's kind of depends on uh, price. Yeah, mm -hmm. two artists, it's it, it's it's more expensive op option. Exactly, and when when you have a label, it's like up to five artists and stuff. Um, anyway, uh, I I found Root Note and I I liked the oh, our our way around. I could see that I wouldn't make so much money with my music, um, at least for the for the time being, um, that it would make more sense for me to uh, pay fifteen percent of my uh, of everything I earn to Root Note and have um, you know and be on every uh, big platform and a few small ones. I yeah. I, you know they they bombard you with all these numbers. They are in two hundred something. Um, platforms, pff, I I c cannot check it. You know, I checked a few, the big ones, and I am there, so that's fine. Um, so that's why I switched to Root Note. But the issue with Root Note is, um, and this was better on DistroKit, as far as I remember. If you want to make a cover song. You know, you need to get the license uh, for the cover um, that you can, you know, do it. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're, you're still on DistroKit or which one do you use? I I think it was DistroKit. Yeah. You have uh, to pay. At the moment, I'm still on okay. DistroKit. Okay. Yeah. Um, on DistroKit, you have to pay $1 per month for a cover. So it's $12 per year. Um, and and they do it for you. It's it's really convenient, you know, because uh, otherwise, oh, I dived into this <laughs> as I was on on root note. Uh, you can do it all by your own, you know, to get a, a license to cover uh, a popular song. But it's really it's a mess, you know. You have to go through a lot of hoops and things and stuff, and you can get a license, um, and then you have to provide it to your. Um, provider and and show it that, that you got the license to do this song. Um, so um, uh, you know, DistroKid does a great job there, but of course they charge you extra for that. But I mean, it's a very reasonable about account. The, the cheapest way I found to get a license was um, thirty dollars for just the license, and then you have to uh, put in you know other fees and stuff. So. It adds up, and it's not really worth it. So um, DistroKid has a good deal there. But um, I was using uh, Lander anyway for um, um, for mastering things. And, you know, for um, it's, it's a, it, I got to know Lander as a, as a mastering service. So if you, if you, you know, um, mix something at home and you want to just, you know, try different kind of mastering styles and stuff, so you can upload it and you can hear it, and it actually improves um, the mix quite a lot. So I was using it, and I have a paid uh, Lender account. I don't know if there's an unpaid one. Um, and then they, they ventured off uh, to, to offer also, uh, you know, distribution. And I was like, okay, you know, in the beginning, Lender didn't have much reach. So I think they, they improved this as well. They had only the big players. I mean, it's enough. But the good thing for me, what Lander has and had, was um, they also take care of cover songs completely. It's no extra charge. I mean, you have to pay for them, and I have to admit I completely forgot to check how much I pay there. I pay yearly, so um, anyway, <laughs> I, I don't know. But um, it's a paid thing. And I use them uh, exclusively now for um, distributing any cover songs I make. You know, sometimes uh, I make a cover or with a friend I make a cover and, and then I want to distribute them. I use them exclusively. It's quite a hassle to get it done because it's, it's, you have to provide a, cert, a certain thing. But 
it's completely free. I mean, for me, you know, it's <laughs> okay, completely free. It's wrong. I pay for it, but they they take all the steps. So, um, and for me as an artist, it doesn't really make a difference. You know, if, if people think about, um, you know, on Spotify, you have uh, the artist uh, view, you know, where you can log in in the back end and you can see it. And it doesn't matter from where the song, from, from which provider the song comes. Um, you still see them in your back end. Um, so uh, this, is, this is not a big deal. But yeah, for me, it's it's uh, it's very convenient, and um, for my <laughs> for my cover artist, it's a little bit not so convenient because he kind of has to make two covers, uh, one for the for the cover song for that most likely it's been a single or something, and um, and one for the real EP where the song should be on but is not because of distribution issues. Um, but you know, um, I, I honestly believe the the listener, you know, the people out there who want to find my music or our music, they don't care if it's from this end or from that end. You know, they want to get uh, the music, and and we get it. So currently, I use Root Note for most of my uh, no, I use Root Note for all of my original work. You know, things I do on my own. Um, and for everything, uh, what's a cover, where I cover something, uh, you know, an 80s song or so, um, I use Lambda. And this works quite nice for me. Um, yeah, and, and the good thing with Lambda is we, we give you 100% of the uh, proceedings. So whatever you earn, um, yeah, but of course, <laughs> I pay them handsomely. Uh, I think it's, I don't want to say something wrong, but it's about like 100 or 200 uh, dollars per year or so. Um, so it's not cheap. Um, but as I said, I used it for something else. And for me, this is an added bonus. So I would have used it anyway, and I would have stayed where. So it wasn't that I switched. I just realized, okay, um, as I was, um, you know, really trying to find out, as I, as I moved to Root Note, I missed this a lot, uh, the most from DistroKit, that uh, I needed to to get my own cover license. They don't help you there with that. And then I, you know, ventured into this and uh, luckily <laughs> saw that that uh, Lambda, um, yeah, does this without um, extra money for me. So yeah, this is my my solution now, and it works quite well. And just to, to finish, me and then we you know, can get into a conversation because I don't like monologues, actually. But um, I also used CD Baby. This is the, the first distribution system I ever uh, have known and used. Um, and I released something there, but it's like, I mean, literally um, a decade ago or something. It's really long time ago. Um, and it was a big hassle, but, you know, Back then, we all started out, and we didn't know how you know f things work and stuff. Um, so I don't want to say something bad about them. The good thing, apparently, uh, with CD Baby is they do the digital distribution as well as the um, real distribution. You know, the the, yeah, 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 yeah. the physical one. But I don't really know how this works, so I don't want to say uh, talk about something what I don't really know. Um, I can say from my perspective, it was a big hassle. It was very cumbersome, but um, I, back then I didn't know better. And then uh, what do I, I used another one. I said I used four, so I used CD Baby Distro. Oh yeah, that's, that's all. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got CD Baby Distro Kit, um, Root Note, and Lander. So and yeah, and now. To back to you. <laughs> what what is your experience? Oh, and one good thing about DistroKit, I mean, I really have to say, we have great customer service, and sometimes the boss, uh, um, you know, sends you a message himself. You know, uh, he answers, and um, he's a cool dude. Uh, you know, I have nothing against him. Um, it's just, yeah, I'm I'm not a big player. Oh, and and on Root Note, you also can pay. Um, 
for your album. So once I will become this big internet sensation and everyone, you know, millions will listen to my music, uh, what most likely will not happen soon, I can kind of uh, pay, I don't know, Twenty dollars per year or something, and then uh, I get all the proceedings, you know. But at the moment, um, yeah, it's the better the deal. Percentage <laughs> system is more convenient for you, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I see. For me, basically too. Uh, before we jump into my experience, which is not as big as yours, uh, I, I have uh, several questions about what I heard, and the first one is listener experience um, mm -hmm. when people go to Negal Modash you you create music uh, by this name Negal Modash and yep. uh, covers also mm -hmm. under this right so about and, uh, and I have two s two side projects where I also uh, did covers so um, yeah there's uh, you find me also, so it's three different uh, music outlets uh, or music okay. music groups you find me in currently. Oh, interesting. Uh, I will ask you later. About <laughs> uh, thing is, uh, I think it, it's interesting to know about listener experience. Is uh, you use one distributor for your music mm -hmm. that created uh, by you and uh, you use another distributor to distribute your covers right yes as a listener uh, is there a difference for me should i uh, if i open the mm -hmm. i will not go to there's there's no difference for you 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 wouldn't know i mean um how how would I guess if you're a real, you know, um, a computer hack or something, you would see that um, because you get this uh, UPC code and all this stuff, you know, from the from the provider, you know, to that it kind of uh, marks your music that it's your own and that it's kind of traceable to you. So I'm pretty sure the um, lander has a different number range than uh, root note. And if you really are um, knowledgeable, you will know which one comes from which. But as a normal user, everything, if you go to Megalmodash, it will be listed under under my band brand. And the other one is Hermann and um, uh, then um, King Sinister. So uh, you wouldn't notice. Uh, there was a mess up I have to, to clean up, actually, with King Sinister, where I did a... Um, Deepish Mode cover, and it somehow didn't get listed under my um, under the right uh, um, nah, artist uh, backend on on Spotify. But yeah, this is uh, not a big deal because <laughs> I mean the um, the payment I still get. It's just um, I cannot see uh, the yeah the listenings the statistics basically because um, yeah Spotify pays the provider. And you get the the the, gain, uh, the money from the provider, and not from the, um, uh, from Spotify directly. And another question is: uh, most of people start from distrokit, as I see, as I noticed, at least in my experience. I see a lot of people start with distro, and uh, when they start and understand what is better for them, because mm -hmm. It's kind of, uh, at the beginning, you don't pay attention to these details of distribution stuff. And uh, distro looks uh, pretty interesting. It's still interesting, but mm -hmm. uh, as we spoke, uh, because of our size as artists, yeah, it's, it's more convenient to play a person. At mm -hmm. least for uh, 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 from the beginning, and uh, I think um, listeners that uh, listen this episode right now uh, have stress as I have at the moment, and mm -hmm. this is the stress about switching distribution mm -hmm. uh, provider. 
and uh, these people, I think, uh, uh, they may be worried about uh, their soundtracks and songs that mm. already in playlists about uh, their music protections and uh, codes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I think it's a big headache for people like that. It uh, and uh, it could be okay, to I can I can say something about that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, okay. Um, I switched like uh, two years ago or something, or three years ago. It's a while back. Uh, from Tristukit to Root from Note. Um, and yeah, you're right. The okay. Um, so, the good thing first. Uh, your songs, um, if you if you uh, say they were already previous released or something, um, you know I, I I do most of my things on Spotify, so I can uh, confidently speak there. Uh, and I guess for the other uh, uh, is the same. The play count stays the same. So if you have like uh, ten ten thousand plays for one song or something, it will carry over. So um, um, what you need to do if you switch. You need to delete your songs uh, on uh, DistroKit, you know, and then we take it out everywhere. And that's a big problem if you are in a, in a big playlist or something. Of course, this, this will uh, not be nice. Um, <laughs> honestly, I didn't have this luxury problem as I switched. So um, if, if you are just a beginner, um, yeah, you might not have uh, the issue as well. And... After you um, deleted it, um, you re-upload them uh, to you know, your new distribution, and um, and then they they appear in all the the major players again. And like I said, um, the play count stays the same. So we um, um, Spotify retained basically my uh, artist pref um, my artist profile, and as I repopulated the songs um you know they got their their previous play counts and and all this so um this was not lost but of course i i think if you do that i i, I doubt that you magically reappear in in playlists you were uh, listed in um before you before you delete um your songs i i don't think so honest i, I cannot say if it is i, I highly doubt it um yeah uh be because it, it wasn't in my case that i was in any big playlist and you know now i'm i'm my own <laughs> uh if you if you switch alex we can we can do the test i put you in my playlist <laughs> because here i have absolute uh control and i can see what happens and then we maybe um you know in a, in a later episode we can talk about what happens if you reappear in my playlist but i highly doubt that because um being a playlist curator myself, um, you usually, I mean, I have a close look on how many songs I have in any given time in my playlist. And if one disappears, it happen, It ha has not happened to me yet, um, but it can happen, you know, if you delete stuff. Um, it will not magically reappear because I, as a, a, a person, as a, as a, you know, the owner of the playlist, have to have to let it in basically so um it could be but i doubt it and 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 for me it's uh i keep songs in my playlist for 14 to 16 days so um you know and it will take a while to delete your songs and then get so you you would send no chance to get in there um just sneaking me by i, d I don't think so but i don't really know I have one theory about this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I also curate some playlists and thing is uh, from time to time I see that some music is uh, not available. So mm -hmm. it's still in the playlist, but it kind of unclickable. You can't pick it. Mm -hmm. And if you get your uh, mouse on this thing, it, it, you will see some kind of message like it's unav unavailable, unavailable, <laughs> unavailable, unavailable, unavailable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just tried to say unable to hear it, but unavailable. Unable to play or something. Mm. So, 
it's still thing is it's still in the playlist but it just doesn't play um on example like some artists do remasters mm -hmm. and uh, it's still in playlist until i delete it mm -hmm. mm, but it doesn't play maybe maybe this is the theory maybe it's become available again when it uh getting re-uploaded by other distributor for example uh they may need only this uh, ISRS code or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, or the e UPC code or something. There's different yeah, codes yeah, yeah. you have and these me meta tags and stuff. So, yeah, I, I think it could happen. I just, you know, I just, just don't want to say something about something that I don't know. Um, and I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure there is, there is an answer out there. You know, I just was not prepared for that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good question, and for people who are in big playlists, it's it's certainly an issue. Yeah, because at the moment, I, I think uh, so, some musicians uh, may realize that uh, this money that they spend on distribution mm -hmm. uh, could go for advertising or charity or stuff like that. Yep. And uh, why not to why not to be uh, Yep. Less greedy and give a fifteen persons and uh, do whatever you want. Exactly. And that's that's um, I, I really like the deal. So uh, you know, just uh, I, I'm not affiliated with Root Note or anything. You know, I'm not getting anything to to uh, toot their horn and to to talk nicely about them. I discovered them by by chance. I was I was looking for a new distributor, and and just you know um, um you, you know looking for for a better deal basically and and this was the best one i found back then and um and yeah it's uh it's I, I don't get any money to to say this but it's um okay i can also say something bad about root note root note is quite slow um also the uh, uh compared with distrokit we have a uh, very slow customer support we have good customer support we help you but it may take a while um, for them to respond. So um, in comparison with DistroKit, they are much slower. Also, the upload uh, to them is always slow. And um, also, the, the website they have is, is slow. E everything is kind of slow with them. Um, but uh, we, you know, have a good service and um, ju just we are just slow. And yeah, um, I will stick with them, uh, and and I like the option I have that uh, you know if I ever pff, become a big internet sensation star, um, I still can you know pay for for my um, for my EPs or for my albums and singles and stuff, and then I get one hundred percent of a, of the proceedings. I actually did this uh, for a year because you have to pay them yearly. And but it was, you know, I mean, I'm so my numbers are so low that um, it's it's not worth it. So for me, the 15 percent to um, to uh, to them is, is, is really justified. And, you know, I get everything I got from uh, from other um, uh, um, things, you know, um, if I compare it to Lander, Lander is also. It's it's fine. Um, it's faster, but um, here I, I as I use it only for for cover songs. Um, it's quite a hassle uh, to go through because you kind of have to to show them which song you're covering and da da da. Who you have to find out who's really the creator of the song. It's not always the singer, as you might know and stuff. So you have to do some research. But and you have to give them all that uh, and distrokit, as I said, they do it all for you. But you just have to say, okay, this is a cover, and then they take, um, you know, we find it. And and basically, what Lander does, we we let you dip into this database where you can find it. And so I, <laughs> I have to say, I never had um, like, oh, I found it right away or something. You have to really dig. Um, to find what it is, even if I was well prepared and knew who was um, creating and singing the song, because sometimes we put the, the, 
the music creator first and then the singer or the lyricist or something. So um, it's it's always a hassle. But as I said, it's it's uh, for free for me. So it's not it's it's like when I have to do the next cover song, I'm like, oh, I have to go there. Mm. But but yeah, but I have to kind of put in at least half an hour. And, and this is just the, the initial half an hour because then they come back and send you, okay, this is that, and is it the right one? And da da da. And blah, 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 blah. So they're, they're, it, it's a back and forth. Uh, Alex, are you still there? Alex? Ah, yeah, you're still there. Yeah, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I, I didn't see you for a moment. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to, to put this out there. I'm not affiliated with Lander or RootNote. But uh, I use them, and this is my own decision. And Lender, I pay with my own money, and uh, Rootnode, I pay <laughs> with my own uh, spillings from <laughs> from the millions I don't receive yet. Um, so yeah, just just to put this out there. Sorry. I uh, think we should leave uh, links to these distributors. Yeah, no, no, we, we can, we can. It's um, I just uh, <laughs> opened the site because I wanted to see how much. It is uh, well, oh, and and they also what what Lender also uh, uh, no Rootnode also uh, offers is they have like a in um, in store they have kind of their own store where you can put in your music as well and can set a price. Uh, I did this in the beginning, but as nobody ever really looked at it, um, I didn't found it worthwhile to do it. Um, so they have like a in like like a in store. Uh, uh, eBay thing, no, not eBay, um, Amazon, where you can put in your things, but pff, nobody really cared for this. So, um, oh, and I see on their price page we have uh, a comparison with CD Baby and TuneCore and how much they cost. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, as you can imagine, um, we go here through figures. If you have fifty dollars of royalties, uh, you get uh, forty forty-two point five uh, dollars uh, from from uh, Rootnote. If you take the the free one, you know, so we we uh, take uh, what is it eighteen fifty from you. That's that's fine, and uh, we compare it to to the others where yeah. <laughs> You you have to pay them basically. Um, so anyway, that's that's my point. As I made in the beginning, for smaller artists, it's it's really the way to go, uh, I think. Um, and I also think um, because uh, that so many small artists use them, the site is so slow because they they are on high demand. Because everyone who knows about this, you know, you can you can make a. A really shitty song and and don't care about it and just put it out there as fun for your friends and whatever and and it doesn't cost you anything and you can say oh look uh, I was just streamed in China and blah, 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 blah. and it's it's fun you know I mean I don't um, music is fun and, and so so do it and yeah it's uh, it's a way to go if you j just a comparison <laughs> if you get five hundred dollars of royalties. Uh, you get on root note in the free mode. You get four hundred twenty-five dollars. So that's that's fine. Um, and yeah, you have to get first five hundred dollars anyway in royalties if a stream is zero point zero 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 something. You know, well, we calculated it. Uh, in our, in in case of Spotify, it's about uh, two thousand and fifty streams make you ten dollars. Mm -hmm. So yep. yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, we have time to think about this $500. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so exactly. Don't, um, you know, I mean, you have been there and I have been there. You know, let's talk about maybe this for, for a second. As I started with uh, distributing music uh, online and I was like, you know, I really was thinking, and I guess most people think like this, the world is waiting for my music and I just need to put it out and millions will find it. And and it's true, you know, I mean, it's distributed everywhere, you know, and, and you can see 
it has a little uh, um, world map where you can see where you get streamed and where, you know, it's in Peru and in where and where and where. But, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nothing you get there, basically, you know. You have a big distribution. Um, so, I mean, I don't want to to take uh, away all the, the fun of it or something, but it's not just because you put out something, millions of us put out something, you know? And um, so, yeah, be, be, be realistic with yourself and I would, yeah, here you can save some money and I don't see any bad things with Root Note besides the, um, the thing that they don't do cover songs. But yeah, you have to find find a way to to deal with that. Yeah, and uh, uh, oh, sorry, uh, I have to, to be this. precise. They do cover songs, mm -hmm. but you have to provide the license that you got to do uh, that you can cover it, and that's that's tough. The process is on you. Mm -hmm. Exactly, we right? reverse it. Yeah. So. Um, it's 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 pretty interesting uh, about uh, this thing with uh, putting music out there and hoping that uh, people will listen to it. But the thing is, you have to give, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, you have to give a guarantee, and this gar guarantee 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 uh, it's not as much about uh, your music quality. You can put a, create uh, a really good uh, music uh, soundtrack, song, and um, it, it will be really great. But the thing is, people don't have a guarantee that you continue to exist mm -hmm. uh, in through the air, through the years. And uh, uh, as a listener, I uh, before subscribe, follow on social media or join uh, newsletters. I need this guarantee because you may be just just great, just just wonderful. But uh, but uh, but why would you need this? Uh, you mean the distributor needs to exist? No, or? no, 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 no. Uh, I'm trying to say uh, about artists. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think as a listener. Uh, for example, there is some musicians that just created several soundtracks, mm -hmm. and that's all. You never hear about them, and they did just great work. And uh, why am I speaking about this? Uh, we spoke that uh, world uh, will not just take and listen you, follow you, and stuff like that, right? So what I think about it, it's more about not a sound quality, but about time that you are in a market, in a music market, mm -hmm. as an artist. So if you are a beginning artist, at least I think so, uh, you should think about uh, being in the market for next, for example, 10 or 20 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this time, uh, duration i guess uh you should think about expenses that you making because mm -hmm. um 20 bucks yearly is not that much yeah mm -hmm. 30 bucks 50 bucks but uh 10 years like that uh i think uh, for the beginning uh, artists it's important to uh, focus on uh, to make uh, distribution stuff and uh, expenses as small as possible because when uh, artists create music and uh, it comes to all these uh, payments it's it's it, it kind of it could it can push on you and uh, it may uh, negatively uh, influ influence, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep, it has a uh, bad on influence your, on you. Hmm. On your artist uh, hmm. skills, for example. I don't... Because uh, with distro, you, you, it's my experience. Uh, stuff that I create usually takes from 
three to eight months. Mm -hmm. One soundtrack. And uh, pay yearly when you know that you can create two soundtracks for the on the year for the whole year to soundtrack you it's it's even more con convenient to look at the cd baby which is uh nine bucks i guess for one single um we had a we had a uh, comparison here wait we have a comparison page Let's see if i can find but it. what i'm trying to say for uh, and some musicians i heard uh they creating one soundtrack for a whole year mm -hmm. and uh, yearly payments i think it's not for such kind of artists mm -hmm. it's it's more interesting even to pay huge uh, they have for example cd baby they has they have premium option which is 30 bucks i guess for mm -hmm. your one single and uh, they provide all stuff like uh, protection of your music uh, if i'm not wrong uh, even i guess so i can tell at the moment i forgot but the thing is uh, if you create one single at the year it's it's not about distribution quality that mm. uh, thing for you it's more about uh, your expenses and uh, DistroKit is really great guys and you mm, you feel this comfort while working with these guys but uh, they may not be just for you mm -hmm. because you want to survive on this market uh, we have big uh, very big amount of artists and the thing is they create pretty good music and yeah these suckers we should you know we should make <laughs> shitty music so that my music may may be much be much better <laughs> so basically it's not about putting your stuff and uh, hmm. expecting that millions will i had actually two two um two things to say to that because as i was looking for for a new distribution um, I also, uh, you haven't mentioned that, but this was important for me. Um, what I really liked on DistroKit, uh, you know, the owner, the guy, uh, he's really, uh, you know, on, on point and he tried to expand a lot. So I think DistroKit was the first one who uh, offered the music to TikTok and stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, now TikTok might be a different thing, but... Um, so this was like I was he was always on point, you know, he found always new things and and added new um, um, uh, outlets, you know, um, um, you know, small ones. So uh, this was really like, OK, that's why I stuck where for a while, because I really liked that basically you stayed on the same service and it was expanding, 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 you know, and um, Root Note was the only one I could find who are almost had the same reach back then i mean you know it, it's free and almost has the, had the same reach as um as distro kit now i don't know we might diverge a little bit but uh, i liked on root note for example that we had oh, i forgot these all these little um um outlets we have but we had one big in china and i was like okay you know if only one Chinese person streams my song and tells uh, 10 of their friends and woof, you know, you will get uh, a, a sensation in China. So um, be because you haven't mentioned that, this was also a, a thing for me to see the reach of a distributor. And I, I, of course, this is um, really cumbersome and tiresome that you have to go through where we distribute stuff because most of the dis I mean all of the distributors I think have all the big names you know Spotify iTunes Amazon Music Shazam Tidal and pff, all these other stuff um, but um, also you know if you more make more fringe music or uh, a small artist it can be very beneficial for you to be also on smaller streaming platforms uh, you know where they're more um, dedicated to one kind of thing or you know a more niche or something so that 
was one of my incentives also to go to RootNode because we had almost the same reach as DistroKid. And I guess now we have, you know, I, I lost track. We, we tell you always like we have 250 or something um, um, streaming platforms where, where you get listed on and you can opt out, of course. I think you can do this in DistroKid as well. If you don't want to go um, to this country or to that, da, 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 you can block things. So um, this was one point for me. I wanted to just um, say, and, and then I wanted to answer to what you just said with your 10-year plan as a, as a musician. Um, for me, as a cura curator, curator, um, what what I do, I you know, I put your music in my playlist when I like it, and it doesn't really matter if the band or artist is still active or not. You know, for the playlist, it doesn't really matter. But where I then sometimes see that uh, there is an inactive band, and um, is I do shout outs for my for my playlist. You know, because I want you know that people listen to it and that people uh, find it and, you know, I get more followers and all this stuff. We talked about this earlier uh, in the other um, uh, podcast. And then I realize sometimes, oh, this band is dead. This band is not anymore, you know. When I uh, uh, search them on Twitter or um, on uh, Instagram and see, okay, we are not any there anymore. Because I'm also, you know, if I like your music, I also ask you if you want to talk with me and then we come to my video podcast show and stuff. So, you know, I have some, if, if I like something, I want to get to know more. And then I see exactly what you said, that some of them are not present anymore. You know, this can happen, of course, if you are a band, you know, it falls apart, you move to somewhere else and everything. So this is all um, normal life things. Um, but... Um, for me, then uh, it makes no sense to connect with, uh, you know, if if I follow them on Twitter, it's it's a dead follow basically because there's no one ever coming back to me and stuff. So that's why for me this is important as a as a curator and and uh, um, a mini influencer um, to to know that there is somebody on the other end who who is really there. Um, but for the normal little guys like we are, you know, the music creators, it doesn't really matter much. But maybe this this I still want to say um, from my curator point of view, please, if you if you want to get noticed, you know, um, Spotify, iTunes and all these uh, uh, things, we, we give you the option to write a little bio and also to link, uh, you know, your social media accounts. Do that. I find people through this. You know, if you if you if you have nothing in there, it's really hard. You know, I'm not gonna gonna Google you or you know gonna see if you have a website with uh, X Y uh, music official blah 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 or something. You know, I'm not gonna do that. But if you link your um, Instagram accounts or uh, Twitter, you know, I'm more on Twitter um, into it. This will really help you uh, give you a chance to be found at least by little curators as me. So um, that's for all the people out there who, um, you know, you're just st starting out and might listen to this this talk, um, do that. You know, connect it and, and keep them. You know? <laughs> and, and, and also yeah, and um, ha have your own website. Because yeah. they usually getting broken from time to time. I, exactly. I, I have uh, often, I mean, not too often, but, uh, you know, every 10th, uh, I find it's it's a broken link to somewhere. This or this account doesn't exist anymore. Or something, so um, you know, I'm I'm you you know my uh, style. I'm more in the fringes and in gothic and stuff. So uh, there's a lot of things that happen and then we, we disappear. So my point is keep you know uh, do this. <laughs> we even overhauled our own website because it was so old and not nice anymore. You know. If somebody tries to find you actively, um, that they can find something and it's up to date, at least up to date is like do something every half year or something. You, you don't need to do much, but you can, you know, I, I check so many different um, uh, bands and artists. I can see if it's dead or not. You know, I can see how, how often you tweet it and, and, and stuff. So um, 
do something once in a while <laughs> to say, I'm still alive, I'm here, I'm here. And, you know, this will um, greatly increase uh, your, your being found by, by people who are interested in you. And this is, this yeah. is me, you know, I'm, I'm hunting for, for the, the smaller, um, you know, less well-known people because, you know, the, who make the music I like to make. Anyway, so um, back to the topic. <laughs> Just yeah, to add this. Uh, that's kind of a big problem with this uh, broken li links or social accounts with one cat for musician, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, people will not Google it. <laughs> and yeah, think exactly. If they will, if they will, because I sometimes I Google musicians if they created something really interesting, right? And I mm -hmm. want to reach out to them, but uh, uh, I still don't know yet that they are kind of dead so thing is uh, google doesn't work like you just type in second accident and you will see a lot of accident without second <laughs> right yes thing is about this and uh, this is why you want to keep your links working to be clear that you are alive and uh, this is why uh, distribution service uh, it's okay it it's good to start from distro. I think it's mm -hmm. it's kind of shows you this world from inside. You have to start somewhere already. Yeah, and you can kind of make your own analysis, like uh, what you need. This is very cool, but you don't need this. This is very cool, and you like this uh, killer feature, killer mm -hmm. feature, <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah, exactly. I... Then, as as we as you know, I tried to to prepare a little bit um, before the show, and and I was like I was drowned in information because there are so many distribution companies out there. I mean, the I will link to um, most of the things I found. You know, it's not I, I don't uh, like I said I'm not affiliated with anyone, um, but there are so many minute details you can check. And what is important for you, and this and that, and blah 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 blah. blah. Um, so yeah, um, but you have to start somewhere. And this toolkit, honestly, is not a bad start. They are they are quite reasonable priced, and they give you a lot of reach and uh, a lot of features and stuff. So you will they know where. You. Pardon me. You. Pardon me. What again? I, 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 they also teach you. They. Mm -hmm. They also show you some exactly. stuff I mean, how you can do. Mm -hmm. Like uh, they show you stuff like uh, that you wouldn't think that it exists. Mm -hmm. And uh, they be like, you can also do this or that. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, oh. They give you tips so. as well. I mean, and, uh, uh, yeah, Ru Rudno does this too. We, we give you tips. Uh, yeah, they can. Uh, then after this, uh, when, when they show how can it be, how comfortable it is, and uh, uh, what's for you great, uh, what what is options also in there. You you be like, you go into other distributor, and mm -hmm. you already, the distro kit, uh, learned you to ask Exa that questions. Exactly. Like, That's a good point. Has that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Mm -hmm. We definitely should leave the links. Uh, yeah, no, I, I will. I will link everything I found uh, here. But you know, I mean, this is people will listen to this on the internet. So I'm pretty sure we know how to use a browser and and how to to find things. You know, it's just um, we can order it a little bit. And and you made a good no, point. I mean, it's oh. more about like uh, it's more about uh, why links is uh, for example, if someone uh, like me on Apple Podcasts. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and you kind of, you hear it, but you don't know how to write it. Mm -hmm. And then you just... Ah, I see, I see. Okay, no, got it, got it. Yeah, uh, you made a good point because case. I just, um, you know, we, uh, we, we rearranged a little bit in our band and our keyboard player, she will uh, switch now to b uh, playing bass. And, you know, I'm a bass player, so I, w I gave her, I will give her two different basses so she can, and they're both different, um, so she can find out what she really needs. Because in the beginning, you know, in the beginning, you don't know anything. You get a new instrument, you get a new tool, and you know what you can do with it. 
but uh, you don't know if it's really suitable for you. So you need to start somewhere. And DistroKit is a is a really good start. Once again, you know, I mean, I can nothing, I cannot say anything bad against it. R root node is is much slower, and you need to be, uh, you know, <laughs> you need to bring some time to 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 get in there. We do the same basically, um, but um, we are kind of um, compared with DistroKit, uh, we are we are kind of old fashioned or something. You know, it's kind of. W slower and stuff. I don't want to, you know, put them down. I'm using them, you know. I I, I like them, but um, yeah. So you know, if you're up for speed and you don't care about uh, paying twenty dollars per year, go for it. It's absolutely fine. It's 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 good. It's a good service, and I guess most of the others are as well. Um, so, <laughs> but in the end, you have to start somewhere. You know, it's it's the same thing. Like if you looking for a new computer right now you know you have thousands of models and whatever you know and with this chip set and this blah, 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 blah. and then you have to ask yourself what do i need you know do i need it for gaming do i need it for work do i need it for blah, blah, blah. and then you can narrow it down and so um this is as i see our episode here is more like to give you a starting point you know to let you know there's a lot of things out there and but yeah, in the end, you have to ask yourself what is important for me. Is it speed? Is it um, uh, uh, re reach? Is it this one? I want to get into this one um, especially fast or something. So whatever, you know. Um, Just don't wait. Don't wait. Yeah, Pick exactly. And uh, go. And, uh, basically Start somewhere. Keep in mind, mm -hmm. keep in mind thing that uh, you can always switch. You should switch at least for your practice, for your uh, bureaucratic growth, mm -hmm. right? Because <laughs> it's a lot of bureaucracy in the music world. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's true. For example, your um, covers, right? Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I, I also have a lot of all this bureaucracy stuff. So I think main 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 thought in, of this episode is it's okay to switch distributors. It's even I think it's necessary to be capable to do mm -hmm. it. Uh, so just in a matter of practice, I think it, it, we should uh, to do at least one time. So, so, so you know, to protect yourself from situations where where some distributor became evil, mm -hmm. right? This mm -hmm. is business, and we should keep in mind this uh, scenario. And he say, "Now you pay me thousand dollars <laughs> at the yeah. month." And yeah, you'd be like, "Okay, I, I can switch, and it tell, and you can tell to yourself what it, it uh, can take, how much time it will take, mm -hmm. uh, what will change for you." And it takes like it takes that. some time. Yeah, it takes some time because you 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 know first the first step is you um, delete everything. So this will take a while because it's. Uh, until everything is depopulated, basically, until everything is gone from all the distribution services, and then you re-upload, and then it takes a while. And this is, uh, yeah, this is where I have to say root node is very slow. Uh, it takes a while, you know. Um, I tried to take advantage of this thing, you know, when um, if you uh, if you upload something and um, y you you let it. Um, come live to a different uh, point uh, starting point you can use this uh, the spotify feature that it that you can submit it to the to the spotify playlist and if they like it they, they put it in their playlist so but this is only happening for unreleased songs so you you um, you kind of set a release date in the future let's say a month for something and then you have um you know uh, 14 days for because it takes 14 days or something until it is out there and, and accepted, you know, um, because there's this acceptance thing with uh, if the cover is accepted and, I mean, the, the, the graphic cover and uh, the music is good enough and whatever, you know, it, it, it's, it needs to, to fit certain parameters. And, and then you can um, submit it to the Spotify playlist. And here, I have to say something bad about RootNode, they are really slow. Um, so they say an upload takes, um, I think, between three or five days until it's uh, uh, distributed, you know. 
but it can take longer. And if you if you bank on this or count on this, that you kind of upload it, you know, let's say it, uh, three weeks in the future, it should become uh, live, you know, um, and then it takes 10 days, uh, you have not enough time to um, to send it to the Spotify playlist uh, for, for consideration. And I think here is um, uh, DistroKid, as far as I remember, we were really quick. It was like, woof. I mean, you, you, you put it out and, and half an hour later, no, it's not half an hour later, but uh, the next day one or... Uh, uh, Pardon me? One or two days, basically. Yeah, they're, they're really, really fast. So this is, this is also an advantage. Um, you know, if, if, you, if you have a 20 bucks to spare, and you you want a, a fast uh, reliable service but take yeah, take this to get 20 bucks is, it's not an option because uh release date you can use all uh, with 35 bucks oh okay see this is on root note you can put on a <laughs> see you can put a release date but put it m a little bit more in the future because we are not so fast with um <laughs> uh, uh, distributing uh, stuff so i mean you see, you know, there's uh, you have uh, advantages and disadvantages uh, with everything. For me, it's it's just kind of a no-brainer actually, because it's free, and and a free service uh, putting you out everywhere in the world, and um, only taking fifteen percent of your, in the beginning, let's be honest, meager earnings. Um, I don't mind that. You know, so that's that's really cool because mm -hmm. you know before we started recording this podcast, I didn't know about uh, that uh, there is some distributor that will not take anything mm -hmm. except the person. Because yeah, I, I'm making research right now and uh, I didn't find one. And then bam, <laughs> you tell just me ask me, exists. just ask me. I'm your yes. go-to guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's the first thing that I'm going to do now is to check this one free, mm -hmm. this free one, because uh, I check in my expenses. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, and and this I is. I want you guys to survive in this market also. Exactly, exactly. You know, and I don't. We talked about this before. This is not a for me. This is not a doggy dog world. You know, um, I don't mind. Um, <laughs> I mean, I said jokingly. Oh man, these other guys they make much better music than I. If they make really bad music, my music would stand out more. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, but in the end, you know, we, we love what we do, and and I don't mind having lots of different things out there. And this root note really helps you to get your stuff out um, without paying anything, and you can put out a party music for your grandpa or something. And, and I really like that. You can be creative. Just put something on your ukulele and, and, and load it up and it's fine, you know. So um, that's cool. And, and I like it to be cool. Yes, there will be a lot of uh, competition, but I don't see it as competition. I see it as, you know, uh, we are all in this together. And if you, oh yeah, no, that's, that's not really true. If you, I wanted to say, if you really make great music, people will find it. It's unfortunately not always true, you know, uh, you need then, but this maybe we talk about in a different episode, um, you need some help with, uh, uh, you know, PR agents and stuff. And I have some experience with this as well. And uh, so maybe in a different episode, we talk about this, how to help you along. We should definitely speak about this. Yeah, exactly. I, I guess a lot of people would be interested in that. And I'm, you know, the, the good thing is, and you, I think you said it also, um, or you implied it at least with your 10-year plan, take your time, you know. Um, you cannot be a Justin Bieber out of the gate. There will be always one, uh, uh, you know, the guy or the, the girl who... You don't who know how much these guys worked before they became what they became. Exactly, exactly. It's usually and a background thing that nobody thinks about, but if you mm -hmm. will check, for example, like Eminem, Oh, this mm -hmm. is my my and kind of um, my yeah. kind of uh, way of doing it is just like um, make yourself available and findable out there. You know, that's my advice I can do. That's why I, I like to do collaborations. Uh, I have like I said these two side projects, and there will be more coming um, where I provide my voice or other things, and there will be remixes. You find people who remix your songs and. 
and stuff. So, you know, um, spread a network out there and, and um, make yourself available and, and work with different people when you learn new things. And so in the long run, this will help you to, to get a, a big network and, and be found by, by people. You know, I'm, I remember as I started out, I sent my music to, to labels and stuff and, and thought, oh, yeah, yeah, this will be the big break. And now I'm kind of like, okay, you know what? I put it out there. I'll be consistent. I'll be there. You know, I, I take care of my accounts. Um, I am findable if people want to find me. And now um, through hard work, I'm kind of, um, I'm at like uh, a little bit over 100 monthly listeners uh, on Spotify. It's not much, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy for that. Before that, I had, you know, my mom <laughs> listening and it was like four listeners per month or something. So, you know, I, I got there. I got slowly, uh, it increases and, and you, you get your range, but it's not uh, an overnight success, uh, what will happen, uh, most likely, you know. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Maybe a it's good like a train. It, it's 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 kind of um, game speed very slow, but when it will gain it, it will also lose it very small, very mm -hmm. slow. So uh, this is good thing, and uh, I think it's not the point to think about becoming uh, next Billie Eilish or mm. Billie Eilish. Right? Exactly, this was it's the one. It's more about surviving. Mm. In, exactly. In our realities, exactly. You just think how to survive, and if you survive, you will mm -hmm. be able to do a lot of crazy things that you cannot imagine at this mm -hmm. point. Yeah. At this moment. Actually, I, I like your your game metaphor because for me it is like a game. It's um, you know other people play play games online and do this and and um, uh, uh, you know first person shooters and stuff. And for me, my high score is like uh, you know I increase my Twitter. Uh, uh, followers and, and I'm now more active on YouTube. I have more people there then and I have more lists. Y you know, this is kind of my game and this is kind of my high score I'm going for. I, I'm increasing this and I'm happy about every, you know, every follower on my playlist, every I think follower. This is the best thing about it, yeah. that you take it as a game and just exactly. play. Mm -hmm. But, 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 you know, we are both uh, in the fortunate uh, situation that we don't need to live from that. I wouldn't mind living from it, uh, you know, from music, that is, but um, we don't have to. So um, why not enjoy it, you know? And uh, in the beginning, I really hated this whole uh, advertisement thing. We, we're going to talk about this in a different episode, I guess. Um, but now I take it as a game and I see oh, how much people can I get, how much can I reach, how much can I do this. And I see my Twitter um, uh, posts reach more and more people. I'm doing live shows now on, on my, my radio station here and I'm getting better at this. So, you know, it's kind of um, I like what I'm doing. So for me, it's a hobby. And maybe in the end it, it gets somewhere bigger, but if not, when, you know, I had a good time. I had a good time. I had my game. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The point is to have a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you uh, go into a music market, I think it's the most important stuff is to to to, to, to find uh, this, uh, how to think, how to say it. Uh, it's, it's, it's very important to understand if you capable to do it for 10 20 30 40 years mm -hmm. for, to, till the rest of your life like uh, trainings your training uh, not because you having file fun while doing it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, because, because you can't do without it right and mm -hmm. uh, you, you should uh, Take this process as this trainings. It's like, mm, are you capable to create it, to control it, to distribute it, change it, to think about mm -hmm. it, to wake up with these thoughts, to have a bad dreams about it for mm -hmm. some times? Yeah, and uh, basically, I think this is the main thing. It's not about 
becoming a millionaire, billionaire or stuff like that. It's mm -hmm. just, are you able to enjoy by it? Exactly. By pro process. That's, 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 I would also, um, you know, I, I talk now with a lot of artists and most people, you know, if, if you enjoy what you're doing, it, it takes away a lot of pressure. Um, and um, most of them I talk to d don't know, uh, don't need to live from it and stuff. And they do it as a as a hobby, you can say some some live from it and uh, and doing quite well, you know. Um, but um, yeah, I, I think I honestly believe that if if you if you enjoy what you're doing, it will also be in the music, you know, and, and people will, uh, um, it will resonate with the people who listen to it and, and see, you know, okay, no, he just didn't put in these bars together and blah, blah, blah. You know, everyone can create music. It's so easy. But uh, music with heart and soul, it's something different, you know. And um, so, yeah, just love what you're doing. And, and we are here, we're both, you know, to help you uh, on your way and give you a few tips and hints and tricks and whatever. You know, it's uh, we don't give you trade secrets. Uh, also, <laughs> it's 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 all there. Um, you just need to know about a few certain things. And I, I guess in this episode, the most important thing is find out what you really are looking for and how much money you are willing to spend. And there's always a better option <laughs> and also a worse option. Um, so just find what is working for you. Now, I mean. Just think about there are so many different cars out there. Actually, there need to be only one car because it goes from A to B. But you know, when there is okay, somebody wants to go faster, somebody wants to go more uh, slow but uh, more secure or something. You know, so and it's the same with everything. Find your your thing. There is no no uh, one size fits all, and there's so many distribution uh, um, providers out there. Poof. It's yeah. I'm gonna link to most of them. <laughs> uh, um, um, if if you if you gonna gonna listen to this online and you and you have um, the links in the in the commentary thing, uh, maybe check out the there is a blog spot from um, a blog entry from Lander actually, and they compare things. Of course, they are on top. Uh, but anyway, they they list a lot of different ones as well, and I don't know all of them. So, um, yeah, it's all out there, this information. You just have to do it at the end, you know, and stick with it. That's a good point, Alex, to, um, to not... Sometimes I have a feeling people throw something at the Internet and, 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 and think now, oh, now we made it and it's out there and it's, it will be big and, and, woof, and nothing happens because... Uh, and then you have to stick with it. Like I said, with my... As I started out, there was maybe one listener, and this was me <laughs> listening to my own stuff on Spotify. And now I have uh, over 100 per month. And, and it took a while, you know. I'm, I'm in the game for, uh, let's say, uh, uh, distribution-wise, for 10 years now, you know. So uh, it's not that, that it just came to me, and I'm still learning, and I'm learning new things, and, and things are e e evolving, you know. If they don't... That's the good thing also just for your personal mental development. You always have to change a little bit. You know, like you train your body, but you also need to train your your uh, your mind. You know, you have to adjust your mindset. You have, oh, now this works better and this is da 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 da. And, and then, you know, um, it's, yeah, for me, it's a, like a game. You know, for me, it's a, it's a interesting what, what you can do. But the most it important is. thing, it's... Persistence. You need to be persistent. Persistent.